safeguarding the nation. My ass. Yeah. Close call, that. <laughs> Good teamwork. And luck. A pile of luck, V. Grab what you can, and let's head out. There has to be an exit here, somewhere. Huh. What's this? Good stuff. I just hope this won't be a dead end. Songbird said to keep to the tunnels all the way to Elizabeth Crest Street. Any chatter from her? Zero. Dead quiet. Still. Not good. Come on! Fuck. Got a hatch here. Could we jump, maybe? Hold up, V. Let's pause. Think for a sec. What's eating you? I don't like this. Can you try calling so me again? Stopping's not a good idea. We get pinned down, we're ground synth beef. Exactly. But so me can guide us out of this death trap. Call her, please. Okay, gonna give it a shot. Vita Songbird. Starting to worry us, girl. Song, are you there? No answer, huh? Guess you got me and only me. Long time no see, Johnny. You all good? Me? <laughs> Should be asking about Songbird. So? Did you reach her? Nothing. No response. Shit. What happened back there? With so me? to say all happened in a blink no one thing for sure she was terrified like she had her worst fears boxed up and that box popped open couldn't have said it better i'm not sure i understand you and me both somi's had occasional off moments lately temporary slumps but i'm sure she's headed where we're headed same destination she gave us it's the reasonable thing to do. Right. Reasonable. Girl's gonna have a hell of a hangover. If she wakes up. How you figure that? Cause I wound up at the same rave she went to. Felt like I was underwater. Leagues down. Tried to surface, but this suffocating sucking sound pulled me back in. Then when she lost control of the Chimera, the water turned into fucking boiling tar. Seems the sitch spiraled out of control. Amen to that. Though actually, could have been a straight overload. Seen runners caught in those. Shit's ugly. So, can we move on? We're heading southwest now. Feels like we're circling back. Yeah, saw mention an abandoned building. Place to lie low. No heat sick. Should be relatively safe. I pray you're right, Somi. Could use a little help. Of course. Damn fork. Well, we didn't account for this. 
Which way now? Thoughts? Hmm. Let's try this way. Looks promising. Cameras? Here? Hansen's a military man. He loves control. And hates blind spots. Great. Of Satan's balls in here. Should plug that. Look for a valve. Huh, our stop. On the right, see it? Here's where we surface. Christ, finally. Mm, I'm gonna smell musty for a week. Looks like a control room. times. You believe it? She must have had her ass welded to that seat. Funny how she has her own street in Night City of all places. That jealousy I'm detecting? Please. Jealous of what? Are you? Uh, one sec. It'll pass. Oh. See? Better already. What's the matter? Are you hurt? It's nothing, really. V, please. I have a highly honed nose for bullshit. Got a experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me, literally. So me says she might have a solution. Wait, you're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. A secretive text someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. It also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. 
I appreciate the candor. Seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive. Expecting more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us, safe. Great place for an ambush. Hopefully no one else thinks so. me. Huh. Guess we got here first. Seems so. We'll have to sit tight. Though I assume we'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. We could also get the radio up and running. What? Can't miss our daily dose of fear-mongering? We need to know the situation on the ground. I'm gonna change out of this mess. High time. Change into those filthy old rags. These filthy old rags won't be smeared all over every TV and terminal screen in the city. Unlike my presidential best. Have a look around. I'll join you in a minute. Postmodern art. More like a home cooked generator. Maybe we kickstart it. Literally. Uh huh. Old Thornton engine pretty run down. A little bit of chew left, too. If the fuel's not degraded, it could actually run. But can't start it. Not without a power source. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us. Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? Yeah, makes two of us. Gig's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panacea, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico. Got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by, and why? Fuck if we know. Oh, plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. Huh. Saying Songbird didn't give us the full picture. Our mystery girl. Usually love a bit of hard to get, but trust me, rarely ends well. Well, not like we had time to really chat. Spent most of it running. SF1, run, Chimera, run again. It's just, nah. Got some questions for the chick. Hope we get a chance to ask him. Anyway, 
Let's get this power sitch sorted. Do the trick by my eye. In you go. Fire it up. Fingers crossed. There it goes. And the maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. You wonder. Booze. This is a good time. Let's see. Today I survived a Delta crash, a district-wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes. It's a great fucking time. You look... great. Right? Should draw less attention, too. Grab a go. Just earned yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed. Isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Ninth City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Not half dumb. Jumping on the media train, hollering war's coming. And it's all the NUSA's fault. Well, you sure know how to cheer people up. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. Gotta let Washington know you're alive, ASAP. Ah, call Washington without knowing who'll answer, friend or foe. Or should I go outside? Give Hanson snipers a big thumbs up. No, V. Neither's an option. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird? Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Chumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. And lights that work. Yeah. This doesn't feel right. That never does what you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. I'll be dead. I want to try talking first. I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! 
now. What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This the presidential suite. Shit. Back the hell up. That's better. Weapons, now. What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This the presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face, say otherwise. This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. You negotiated with Hanson? What was that about? Not... Small misunderstanding. They machete his leg off. You motherfucker. Was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Now my question is, what can you offer us that's better? Jim's for fuck's sake. We're all just trying to survive here. So cool it. Stop talking scop and stay your price. One million. Fine. On one condition. You'll help. Lend us miscellaneous support. Mm hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. This is your chance. There won't be another. Shit. But it might could be our last. You got a deal, Madam Prez. And... Want me a ray feed? Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked. Will do, so long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? All depends on you, Chooms. Gonna have my eye on you. Likewise, Choom. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new chooms by tossing back a few, but T and I gots to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch the master and learn, T. Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your balls in the right place. Looking for someone. Asian-American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit, <laughs> you can't ask you to meet at a bar like a normal chew? You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. So, you were nomad? I was. Once upon a time. Abandon your family? I betrayed them. I'd rather not get into it. Sup, V? Shoot some shit with me? Then spill it, my man. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks, yeah? <laughs> I look like I'm from DC to you? <laughs> Fuck if I know. Never been. Nah, I'm Haywood, born and bred. Dogtown native. No plan to leave, neither. 
Don't intend to take your shiny new Rayfield for a cross-country road trip? Tomb, the day I believe a word out of anyone's mouth will be my last. Then why agree to her deal? Cause I's an honorable motherfucker, maybe? Shit, folks gotta live by some kind of code. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, fucking anything. All falling out of the sky and into Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me finders keepers? Clepping from Kurt? It's kid stuff. Trickle down economics, I call it. So, one thing I don't get. Building's safe, right? So why is it a total ghost town? Right. <laughs> See, well, that's because it's haunted. You ain't never heard the stories, dog. Jacob. It's true. A lot of peeps died here. Mysterious circumstances. Like an aneurysm, each and every one. One time, 12 runners they found. All their brains fried. Hansen closed the house down, banned entry. And the colonel's word means lots more than some turrets and shit. Folks know to stay away. So what are we still doing here? Cause fuck them, that's what. And fuck urban legends. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Take a breather. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright. But not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. Gonna give them that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, V. on the balcony. Where's Jacob? Fresh air drop nearby. Jay went down for a look-see. Sleep okay? Night all right? Like any with a roof overhead. Claustrophobic. As for Jacob, he thrives in dreamland. Come on, baby. Ever ridden in a rayfield? My villa with VIP friends, high society, on and on till the crack of dawn. A man with ambitions, clear. She's not here. Means she's not coming. C 
seen the swarms Henson has out hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could I still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, no, we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. Gotta be away. Let me think. Know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Gotta find it myself, sounds like. On my own. Not entirely. I have just the person to help. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and Somi were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. A sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. What now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. That crash tear open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. A Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Uh-huh. So what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Secret comms line, presidential token. What's next? coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, nah. Let's skip the formal thing. Is there a problem? It's just a big commitment, you know? Can't swear to something I don't believe in. It's your choice. I understand this was sudden. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. Supposed to go to the local Capitan Caliente. Know the place? <laughs> it's not my top choice for hair of the dog. But it closed down. The business went under and the owner chose the rope. the right call not taking that fascist ass oath. Oh, yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. 
Yeah, yeah, fuck the system, fuck Arasaka, fuck the NUSA. Jesus Christ, B, this ain't some teenage anarchist boot camp. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure, you want to talk about this? Gotta hand it to you, V. Wiser than I was back in the day. Crazy color smoke? Yep. Wham bam. One of Hanson's cargo drops, no doubt. She all yours. I sure as shit ain't making that climb. Don't wanna climb, or you're not telling me something. You think I'm finna parkour up on one leg? Thanks for the heads up. Maybe I'll take a look. Sure thing. side of the Sierra Nevadas. Um, only did the one gig for you, far as I recall. Hmm. And let's not forget our torrid tale of Haitians, Netrunners, and animals. You could not have made contact with the VDBs without me. Your source for adventure I am, in Dogtown as elsewhere. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breached Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon. Gary? Uh... Johnny? V this time. Disappointed. Fuck. Sorry. Don't really get how that show of yours works. Simple. Imagine the Johnny's along for the ride. Mm-hmm. Knowing him, you don't got no ticket either. Whatever. In any case, I'm at the wheel. And rather keep it that way. I got it. You'll work too. I mean, cool. Something particular up, Carrie? A job of a kind that seems ideal for you. Corner of Gray and Milagra. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool. Love what you've done with the place. 
How's a ripper end up the stacks anyway? Oh, the, the city's so stifling, Choom. I wanted to go someplace where there's no formalities, no limits, where I could just be myself. You know what I mean? Uh huh. You got your ripper license revoked, didn't you? Uh, the fuck do you care? You want a rip or not? Okay, let's see what you can do for me. Just hope I won't regret it. Anything hitches, just come back! At least you won't get bored.
Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stems. I'll be damned. A real live customer. <laughs> what can I get you? How's biz? Eddie's flowing. Nah, Chun. Delta Crash got everyone guessing. Half a dog town's chasing Rosalind Myers like bitches in heat. Shit's fake news. But tomorrow's another day. Peeps know Ronald's shop always got what they need. Look like a Chum has been around D-Town. Around? Shit, player. This is my home turf. Who'd you think I am? Hmm. You talking to the Pacifica Typhoon, Chum? A.K.A. the D.T. Prodigy. Yeah, okay, that one ain't my fave. Uh, when they was pumping me with boosters, could blast 100 meters in 6.0. Yeah, you heard right. Now I ain't do hardly 100 a day. No more. But what I'm saying is, hell yeah, I've been around. Typhoon Ronnie, huh? You serious? Scan the old screamers if you would doubt it. Old Ronnie was a legend in the making. Huh. How'd your uh, rising star suddenly flop? Well, there's this chick, Fiona. It had this um center for gifted youth and shit. Future sports stars. All good, right? We, we talking a uh, roof overhead, real food, training, boosters and chrome, uh, heaps of chrome tune. Shit was all rainbows and roses till you stumbled. And Chum, I fucking wiped out. Landed in the D-Town street with mean-ass migraines and insomnia. And I was lucky, too. D-Town's districts, what do you know? Huh, which ones, my man? Golden Pacific be in the north of D-Town. I got this hill there, Luxor Heights. Name makes a promise and delivers. Preem views 10 out of 10. Longshore Stacks is the west side. Place got history, feel me? Uh, south is Terra Cognita. You best stay the fuck clear of there. Okay, Longshore Stacks. What do you know? Hmm. Everything there is pre Unity War shit, get me? Start seeing containers. Means you found the place. Them containers? It used to hold bricks and beans for building the hood. Shit got clapped, Avi. But them big ass boxes ain't going nowhere. Now we detowners, we resourceful. Some clever chooms grabbed them and behold, premium living space in high rises, no less. Ain't no shit go to waste here, you know? Looks or heights. Know anything about them? Hey. Best not snoop round there. Them voodoo boys been doing voodoo shit since they made it their crib. Now they hop between two beds, Scavs and Hansons. For your visit, it's good to know who they be fucking around with at the time. Ask if a trouble otherwise. Golden Pacific. Grandiose name, am I right? Shit, Chum. Suits promise Eddie's raining down from every window. Peep shit in solid gold. Prove true enough for my man Hanson. He the only one making fat stacks in that place, huh? Golden Pacific's a bar gas breeding ground. Got their beers, logistics, fun times. All in one hell of a dangerous place if you was not one of them dogs. Gotta say, first time in the hood. So, Terra, got any travel tips? As I say, steer the fuck clear of Terra Cognita. <laughs> The place was a fucking Quan's paradise years back. Talking space flight, chrome of the future, all sorts of tech. Shit of fry your skull sponge. Now, nothing but dirt and dust and scabs. Rat ass motherfuckers running the place. You go to Terra Cognita, you a corpse incognita. <laughs> you get it? Incognita. <laughs> Since we're already talking. Yeah, yeah, well, what you think? Got some pretty unique places around here. 
This hood just exuding clever now, ain't it? <laughs> Been to the stadium. Quite a sight. Uh-huh. They had big plans to set up shop there, you know? But whoo! The competition whooped my typhoon ass. Y you know, Nighthawks was roosting there while Hanson was still shitting his diapers. How's it go? Good times make bad tunes, then bad tunes fuck shit up? Bottom line is all about the eddies. Who got the most scratch? Hanson. Stadium ain't his main biz, oh no, but I, I ain't gonna say no more on that, huh? Enemy. Came through this kind of expo hall. Some curious mock-ups of all kinds of buildings here. Oh, you got guts, man. Like what you saw? Them suits must have been tripping balls coming up with them district plans. <laughs> Uh, then wham! Reality kicked in. Gongs probably woke up face down in the streets thinking, where'd it all go wrong? Expo ain't no place for civvies. You got pre-war goods and shit there. Best stay clear, especially since Pete's been hearing blasts and explosions. No thank you. Even got a pyramid. Hard to miss that one. Pretty preem, hmm? Fixes things up for show. Beers talks get drowned out by wild party hubbub and tracks that are fire. Privacy guaranteed, hmm? Bottoms open to all the riffraff. Upper levels, though? Shit's for VIPs. Big players. Big beers. Feel me? Maybe go and visit myself. <laughs> Banging tunes. Dent slides of Snow White. And the biz is in tune. That's how you get in the major leagues. Big skyscraper. Know anything about it? Uh, uh, suits called it the Black Sapphire way back when. Folks call it the Hotel or Tower these days. Place is gilded, I hear. Pretty much out of reach for us mortals. Apple of Hans's eye, his golden egg. He wanna make tunes with you. He gonna invite you there. Get yeah, a view from the top is motherfucking Nova. Might be a little crazy, but I ain't cray cray enough to find out for myself. Since we're already talking. Yeah, yeah. Well, what you thinking? Thanks. Real helpful. Seem to really know your way around. Well, shit. In my line of work, it's all about the gossip. The juicier, the better. Send some real spicy ones your way if you're so inclined. You know what? Fuck it, why not? Be nice to know what the street's saying. Yeah, starting to get me now, huh? Gotta get a leg up whatever way you can in good old D-Town. Stay in touch, Chum. Let's see what you got. Dreamest shit you ever seen! Man of biz you are, so let's cut a deal. I slip you a few heads, you tell me how to slip inside. You paying for trouble, but okay. Don't ever bail on Eddie's, huh? <laughs> the new <clears throat> owners? A draining power from down the road. Check the cables on the wall. Sure to connect somewhere. Tink around, reset the power. Bet your security trinkets just might go dark. Sounds promising.
Attention, this is Kirk Hansen. The cyber psycho barged into Dog Town without registering. His bounty is now doubled. His description? A big ass motherfucker with a full faceplate. Armed, dangerous, not responsible.
Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. this. Antique. Junkie variety. Wonder if it even works. I'll have a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Reed? Listen. Got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Call me V. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Fast prices in Dogtown. Certified receipt. Keep your eyes open. 
Jaden for the next gig. Why him? He a weak ass pussy. Yeah, but he's kind of hot. But no, thing is, we got some milk supplements in Ronnie. Ronnie? Shit. Say goodbye to that. Best seats in the house. A piece of the plane smashed into our kitchen. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking all. Felt the same thing. 
Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing? Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. No offense, but... Can we just chill a sec? Watch the game some. Enjoy just that. Why not? How about a hot dog and a cold beer while we're at it? Pretend we don't got a worry in the world. That would be so nice. Well, when you put it like that, fine. Savor it while it lasts. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Ah. Uh. Hands. What you holding? Johnny? Who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. I'd like to know who I'm talking Hold to. Line, mutual. You know who I am. Now, hands, show me. Got this token. Mean anything to you? But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. We've got a pro spy here, V. It's just safe. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around it. Were you follow? Did you even bother to check? Take me for a fucking gonk? An amateur? You sure fooled me. But fine. That I have to do. Black Thornton Merriman, Miller Street. Three minutes. Front seat. That it? Interrogation over? Already was starting to have fun. Read. Slippery motherfucker. <gasps> what a fucking wacko. Like him already. Let's scoot. Hey. You see the guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut it or get lost. With the right guns and stalls, man, a free throw dunk is even hard. Blackthorn. Oh my god! Ah! Gone for a week and the fucker says he already replaced me. Before we go, 
apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chun's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. Actually, I am. Though, just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Freelance Merc. You were born in NC. Haywood. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received your commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Nor? Saw me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just, uh, FYI. Not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? The derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. Huh. That your Lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to government pay. Not even under the table. Huh. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? Snitches get stitches, man. So that'll be a yes. Not good. When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. So this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. Relax, she ain't alone. Made some new tunes, locals. Introductions were a little dicey, but she turned on the charm. 
Probably has her Dogtown campaign staff by now. This keeps getting worse and worse. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Open up. It's me. Yeah, yeah, coming. Don't move. For fuck's sake. Again? Where is she? That's enough, gentlemen. Put your tools away, gents. Compare length and girth when I'm not around. You the boss? Are you sure? Look around. Positive. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Come on, we should talk in private. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. So, the cast of Hawks squawking for war. For some, the war never ended. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she hacked it. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough? To get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V. You said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Songbird's my only shot at surviving. 
Got Arasaka's relic in my head. Slowly, surely, poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Buy me a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> you do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. Just gotta survive till then. Alright, I need to make some calls. All good, Jacob? Doggone fairy tale, V. This Rosalind chick? Piece of work if I ever seen one. Thinking we might have had a moment. Shame she ain't finna stay longer. So what's the future hold in store for J&T? Two options. We die in Dogtown, or we hit the road, scoot far, far out of here. I guess it comes down to our dear Madam Prez. Will she keep her word? You'll have to excuse my friend. He's sometimes... excitable. Right. You ought to teach him about the value of initial impressions. At least his kind goes guns blazing. I mean, screw those stab you in the Baxters. Gotta evac soon. Watch yourself out Now the world better watch out for Jacob. <laughs> yeah, just remember to knock before you enter any shady looking digs. See, if I came knocking last night, I'd have missed the chance to meet my babe Rosalind. And you, I suppose. <sighs> That's life for you, V. There's a lesson in all this, don't you think? Gonna boost soon. Keep an eye on Jay, will you? One shitty nanny I'd make. Hey, keep it real, V.